007, this is urgent. Priority one. We fear the attack may be imminent. How long until you're on the ground? We should be down in 10 minutes. We haven't got 10 minutes. The satellite is picking up suspicious activity near Greco's boat. You've got to get a move on now. I'm on my way. Change of plans. Head for the harbor. According to our sources, General, Greco has flown in a group of international terrorists for a suicide mission. The plan is for the attack to coincide with the moment they take the group photograph. I can't much care what your sources tell you, Em. We've checked Greco out. He is an international businessman here on vacation. His business, sir, is international arms trading. He'd like to see all the heads of state, all the members of the G20, wiped out in one fell swoop. Is that what your sources are telling you? Or is it your female intuition? I'll thank you to keep my intuition out of this, General. I want you to cancel the photo op now. Impossible. You have to have some faith, some trust, in my ability to protect them. You can keep your faith. I put my trust in Bond. Hostile radio chatter shows your landing has gone undetected. Blueprints show Greco's quarters are located on the lower deck. Find him and stop the attack on the G20. Perhaps there's a sign. Where is my helicopter? Where are my boats? Maybe you think we should just call the security services and hand ourselves in? Huh? Imbecile! Do you have any idea of what is at stake if this mission fails? Give me one single reason why I should not have you killed. I'm waiting. Who the hell are you? Call off the attack, Greco. It's over. One man against 40? I don't think so. Guards! He's dead! 
We've wasted enough time. Get moving! Greco! Over there! Damn! Stay behind and stop it! We are pushing up to the Acropolis! Where's the bomb, Greco? Last chance. Where is it? You're too late. Fireworks? Did you know there were going to be fireworks? Honestly? Yes. How did you know? Quite honestly. Intuition. Nice to see you, 007. I was worried that you wouldn't make it in time. Well, that makes two of us. Well done. Thank you. May I get you something to drink? Yes, I'll have a bourbon. Neat. And what can I provide for the gentleman? I'll have... You'll have a vodka martini. Bond here. Good morning, 007. I know we promised you a week's holiday after Athens, but we have a situation developing that requires immediate attention. Are you free to speak? Yes, I can talk. I'm in a hotel. I should be online in a moment. There you are. How much do you know about Midhurst Laboratories? Biotech firm, publicly traded, City of London, military contractor. But not just any military contractor. Two years ago, Midhurst Laboratories signed a contract for some mission-critical biotechnology for our defense forces that's so secret I'm loath to discuss it even on this link. I understand. Good. Last week, one of their senior researchers, Malcolm Tedworth, went missing from his yacht in the English Channel. At first, the Royal Navy presumed he was dead. His boat was discovered capsized after a squall off the coast. But this morning, we received a tip that he's alive and about to sell that research to a buyer in Istanbul. How reliable is the information? Doubtful. An anonymous caller from a cell phone purchased at a convenience store in Madrid. The phone went dead. But soon after, the US Echelon system picked up another cell phone transmission near a construction site in downtown Istanbul using the keywords researcher, bioweapons and password. Might be a trap, a setup. Any chance that it's the researcher himself, hang of conscience, second thoughts about selling out the UK? That's why the helicopter is landing outside your hotel. There'll be a jet waiting at the airport. And when you arrive in Istanbul, do whatever you have to, by any means necessary, to find out who's behind this. And make sure that research doesn't fall into the wrong hands.
Good morning, 007. We located the cell phone that the Echelon system found and tracked it to the opening of an ancient catacomb beneath this construction site. We lost the signal when it went below ground, but you may be able to pick it up again once you get into the catacombs. Q branch, end transmission. You! Stop! Where do you think you're going? Dr. Bond. British Museum. Architectural Heritage Foundation. Here to study your preservation efforts. Nah. You can call the Turkish Ministry of Culture. I don't care. Nobody goes down there. Without a hard hat. Of course. Safety first. This construction site marks the point we lost Tedworth's signal. We need to find out if he's still friendly or working with our enemies. Use your smartphone to search for evidence. We've cloned that computer's hard drive. I'll pass it on to our analysts. Continue searching the area. Dr. Bond, the foreman is ready to meet you. Please wait for him in the far cabin. Come this way. This way, Dr. Bond. Catacombs. See if you can patch me into Tedworth's signal. Got it. Bring up your phone and it will give you Tedworth's position. Should lead you right to him.
the east chamber. Structures holding. Some rubble has come down, but otherwise it's dead in here. Any <laughs> the body. Help me, Mr. Help me, please. Who are you? Who did this to you? Bernin. His name is Bernin. He wanted my research. My formulas. For bioweapons. We've got to get you out of here. I'll never make it. The only way is to climb out. But it's not too late. Maybe you can still save... Tedworth. Tanner. What do we have on a man named Burnin? Hold on, I'm doing a search. Here it is. Burnin, low-level gangster, a middleman. If he's got Tedworth's research, he probably won't be holding onto it for long. What is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code! Stop! Stop! I'll tell you. Thank you. Kill him! Let's get out of here! Let's go! I'm late for the handoff. He's here! Let's move! Sure, he's dead. I'm going to make the handoff. Bond, can you hear me? Come in, 007.
I want a name. Who are you working for? Never. Let's try that again. Who is it? Who hired you? Give me the name. Pomerov. Stefan Pomerov. And where's he taking those papers? I don't know. I've told you everything I know. Please! Please, let me go. I'm no good to you anymore. You got that right. What is it, W7? Did you intercept the research? No, the researcher is dead. But I've got the name of the buyer. Go on. Pomorov. Stefan Pomorov. I've got him. Russian businessman. Nothing flagged, no police record. No unusual connections. According to the immigration data, he's in Monaco, due to leave on a flight to Moscow tonight. I'm sending you his picture and file. Got it. Let's get in touch with our best contact in Monaco. I'm bringing up the list now. See if he can stall Pomerov from leaving and have him meet me at the airport. Of course. Good. I'll be on the next flight out. James. I almost didn't recognize you. I'm sorry, have we met before? I think once. Something in England. Nicole Hunter. My friends call me Nikki. Nicole Hunter. You're the jewelry designer. I've been called worse. It girl, socialite. It's nice to see you, Nicole. I'm sure you've got a plane to catch. Actually, M sent me. Interesting cover. But not an unpleasant surprise. Shall we go? The car's over there. Nice car. It's a friend's. Would you like to drive? I feel much safer with a man behind the wheel. So what can you tell me about Pomerov? Oh, he's such a lech. But he's kind of sweet for your basic Russian oligarch. He owns oil wells, diamond mines, and his own 737 with gold-plated fittings, of course. How do you know him? Sweetie. There are only six people worth dating in the world, and I've probably gone out with half of them. Turn here. Okay. The truth is, he supplies the chemicals used to alloy the gold and silver in my line of jewellery. And he's been after me to open a boutique in the casino he just bought in Monaco. He bought the casino? Mm-hmm. Another trinket on the must-have list for oligarchs. After a supermodel wife. So, I got him to delay his flight back to Siberia. That's why he keeps the wife at his headquarters, so she can't spend all his money. And we're going to meet in the boardroom, which should give you enough time to get into his office and break into his safe. Well done. So how did you... End up in bed with MI6? Well, that's one way of putting it. Darling, it's the perfect cover. Fashion shows, photo shoots, store openings. I get to travel the whole world, and nobody pays any attention. Emma approached you? Not exactly. Well, how not exactly? Well... There was this little tax problem a few years ago. A little tax problem? And a small customs problem involving some diamonds. But that's how a girl from the society pages ends up working for MI6. Yes, James. But believe me, when necessary, I can be very discreet. You can drop me off in front of the casino. I'm going to put on my war paint before the meeting. I'll text you on the cell phone to let you know when we're almost finished. All right, James, I'm in. Pomrov's coming down to meet me. Good, I'm heading through the gardens now. Turn on your tracker, and I'll home in on your signal. Hang on. Okay, it's on. Right. Now make sure you keep Pomeroff busy. If he sees anything unusual, he'll lock down the casino. Understand? Don't worry, James. I know how to handle a man like Pomeroff. James. James, Pomeroff's still not here. What should I do if he doesn't show up? Stick to the plan, Nicole. Stay calm. He may just be late. It's critical that you make this work. 
Okay. I'll do my best. I've got to go. I take that as a supreme compliment. My God, Stefan, that paint. How did you get it? I've been after it for years. The family said they'd never sell it. It's on loan, shall we say. 007, you're going to need a key code to get past this door. It appears the code has been divided between three different guards in the casino. Each one has only a small piece of it. I'm marking their locations on your smartphone now. Scan their access cards to compile the full code and access the lift. Anyone have a visual? One down, 007. That's another one, Bond. That's it, 007. You've got all the data necessary to access Pomerov's lift. It's on its own subsystem. You'll have to find another way in. What was the nature of this research? I told you. We were investigating anthrax and smallpox to come up with antidotes that could be used in the field in the case of a biological attack. And there was no way to militarize them? To turn them into weapons instead of cures? No! No? So why are these documents in code? I told you, I was working at home. What is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code! Stop! Stop! I'll tell you. Thank you. Get them out of here! But it's secure. Check the office. Where are you? I'm outside. What happened? They've closed the casino. Get to the car. Bring it around to the front. What are you going to do? We'll see if I can tip the odds in our favor. See if this is dry enough for you. What are you drinking? Same thing. Straight. I was never one for girly drinks. Bond, are you there? Yes, Em. Right here. Nicole, do you mind if 007 and I speak privately for a moment? This is a need to know. Of course. No problem. We can talk. What did you find out? We've translated all the documents you photographed in Pomerov's office this afternoon. It appears that most of them were invoices for highly sophisticated chemical manufacturing equipment. They were to be delivered to a defunct chemical refinery he's recently brought back online in Siberia. 
It makes perfect sense. They tortured Tedworth, the researcher, for the code to his bio-research formulas. He was working on anthrax and smallpox antidotes for troops in the field, but they could just as easily be weaponized. That's what we're afraid of. No, that's what the whole world is afraid of. You've got to get there. Confirm what we think he's up to and stop him. Perhaps Miss Hunter can help you facilitate this. Yes, I'll talk to her. Good. Good luck, 007. You finished? I have to take a look at Pomerov's refinery in Siberia. M thought you might be able to help facilitate things. I'm going to need a flight, ground transportation, and local contact. Wait, wait, not so fast. I told Pomerov I'd get back to him about his business proposal. So it's the perfect cover to get the two of us into the refinery. The two of us? M said facilitate, not the company. Well, how do you think I'm going to get you to Siberia? Oh, let me guess. A friend of yours owns a plane? May I speak with Rudolph, please? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> You're going to love it. It's got a shower, a wine cellar, and the most unbelievable circular bed. Yes, I'll hold. What? What's that look for? You'll be enjoying all that stuff alone. I'll be in the cockpit flying the plane. Kind of your friend Rudolph to lend us his car. You sure he won't mind? He's got six of them. He won't miss it. What else are you going to spend your money on up here, aside from diamonds and wristwatches? Are you sure you want to go through with this? I just can't believe Pomerov would be involved with something evil. He's always been like an uncle to me. The entrance to the refinery is up ahead. Just do as I told you, follow the plan, and we'll be all right. This isn't all fun and games. You really think they're going to believe that you're my bodyguard? I think they'd be more suspicious if you didn't have a bodyguard. Yeah. It's Russia. You're nobody without one. Good. Put on your best attitude and sell it. I'm here to see Stefan Pomrov. Is he expecting you? Do you think I just dropped into Siberia? I also need somewhere for my bodyguard to wait, where he can be fed and watered. Park the car over there. And he can wait in the shed. Spasiba. All right, I'm going to give you five minutes to get into Pomerov's office before I start causing trouble. I can live with that. That's the idea. Yes? Sorry to interrupt, 007. We hacked into Pomerov's mainframe at the refinery and found Tedworth's research, but we were shut out before we could read it. You'll need to get to the server room and access it through the main terminal. I think we can be there. Can you send me directions? I'm marking the location on your phone now. Search isn't here. You'll have to go to the main computer center. It's protected by biometric security measures, though. The only individual with security clearance currently in the building is Pomerov himself. You may be able to get through if you can find Pomerov's fingerprints and a voice sample. Enough pleasantries, my dear. You didn't fly halfway across the world to drink vodka. Tell me of this new proposal. I want to hear all about it. That's Pomerov's fingerprints. Now you just need to find a clear sample of Pomerov's voice. Greetings. Welcome to Siberia. I'm Stefan Pomerov, president and CEO of Pomerov Industries. And I want That's to That's Pomerov's you. voice sample. You should be able to access the computer center now. Marking location on your smartphone. Copy it. I'm on my way. Built in 1974, this Welcome, Mr. Pomerov. 
Stay alert, men. I want regular patrols. Something's going on today. We've got to keep the computer center secure. Understood. Is someone there? We have a map. Damn it! We thought we could get in without setting off the alarm. We need time to access the files. You've got to keep the phone in range. Do you think you can hold out? You'll be the first to know if I can't. down. 007, scan the central terminal to access the refinery's network. Bond here. Where are you, 007? Pomarov's refinery. It's worse than we suspected. He's built an entire bioweapons factory. He's churning out toxins by the ton. Can you destroy it? Let me get back to you on that. This control room coordinates the refinery's core systems. Access the central control panel and I'll run a diagnostic. From the looks of things, it seems that if you override the coolant and exhaust systems, you'll be able to trigger a catastrophic chain reaction. Find the override valves, 007. You need to destroy those bioweapons. Override the system.
That's it, Bond. Well done. Activate the central control panel. This will launch the chain reaction and trigger the meltdown. Nicole? James, where are you? What's taking so long? Meet me outside with the car running as quickly as possible. I'm on my way. Nicole, where are you? I'm on my way. I got Just get here, quick. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. What happened to Pomerov? He ran off. I saw him get on the train that delivers the chemicals to the port. His men were loading them on. Which way? Over there. We've got to stop him before he gets those bioweapons out of the country. Hang on! Are you mad? Like I said, this isn't all fun and games. Fasten your seatbelt, we've got a train to catch. This should work until we can get you to a doctor. You really did turn out to be my bodyguard. What was that? The train, stopping. We must be at the port. I've got to get off to Pomerov. Here, take this. Stay here. No. Please, take me with you. Can you handle it? Yes. Don't leave me here. Let's go.
Start the engines and get us out of here! Now! Set your heading for 220. But there are boats in the way! I don't care what's in the way! Plow through them! There, the hovercraft. When we get on board, do you think you can pilot it? Yes. But you've got to be careful, James. If you puncture one of those chemical guns with a bullet, the bioweapons will escape and kill everyone. I'll keep that in mind. We've picked up Bond's signal. It looks like they're on Pomeroff's tail. Acquiring visual now. Bond and Nicole are on an assault hovercraft, with what appear to be multiple hostiles on board. Picking up audio now. I'll patch it in. I've got the throttle open all the way, but we're not catching up with him. We're too heavy. I'm heading down to the hold. Maybe we can dump some cargo. All right, Nicole. Try to keep it steady. And keep the door locked. We're not alone. OK, will do.
die. Change of plans. Tell me, Captain, are you sure your men can handle this? The safe destruction of all those bioweapons? Bioweapons? What bioweapons? There are no bioweapons in Russia. I see. And those men on the boat, in the hazmat suits. That's the problem with you people in the West. You always think there are WMDs. Then you go to war over it, and then, phew, there are none. You know what kind of paperwork I would have to fill out if there were WMDs here? Clearly, my mistake. Yes. And in the meantime, you can expect my government to be calling your government to register a protest for your actions here. I wouldn't have expected anything less. James, are you all right? I'm better than you. Oh, this? It's given me an entirely new idea for a line of bracelets. Indeed. The cast will be off in a week. It's nothing that a few days at a private beach in Bermuda won't take care of. Care to join me? I've got a plane waiting. I wish I could. But I've still got some mopping up to do here. Hmm. You sure? We might be able to get into all sorts of interesting trouble together. Well, the offer's tempting, but... By the way, what about your friend? Isn't he going to be upset about destroying his car? <laughs> he probably expected it. He already thinks I'm a terrible driver. I wreck everyone I get into. Back in London, they say the same thing about me. Anyway. Congratulations on stopping Pomeroy. Thank you. And thank you for helping me facilitate things. You sure I can't convince you to come with me? Positive. Well, I hope I get to see you again. I'm sure our paths will cross. Ciao. Take care. I can't believe you let her go. She wanted you. I need a room. A private room. You should have asked for that while she was still here. Don't you have some cleaning up to do? Some non-existent bioweapons? Second floor of the police station. Third door on your right. And make sure you say hello to MI6 for me. I'll give them your best. Bond here. Yes. I've been waiting to hear from you, 007. Omarov's dead. The factory is destroyed. The remaining bioweapons have been turned over to the Russians. I know. The Prime Minister has already heard from their government. It's threatening to become a diplomatic nightmare. I want you out of there. Back in London for a full debriefing. No. This isn't over. The anonymous tip we received about the bioweapons couldn't have been from the researcher. He was being tortured at the time. Somebody wanted us to get to Pomerov, and the question is who and why. So how do you want to proceed? When I took the courier's cell phone in Istanbul, all the phone calls on it were local except for one that he didn't answer. Have Tanner and Q Branch find that phone. I want to know who the courier was avoiding and why. Wei? Good morning. Colonel Ping. Good morning, Commander Bond. To what do I owe the pleasure of this phone call? I'd like to know why a top Chinese agent was trying to contact a courier in Istanbul. Perhaps it's the same reason a British agent was following him. Are you suggesting an alliance? You'll find me at the aquarium in Bangkok tomorrow night. Come alone. It's the only way I can guarantee your safety. Funny. I was just going to issue the same warning to you. Bond here. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Where are you, Ping? We'll meet soon enough. But first, I need you to perform a small task in order to ensure our security. And what might that be? It's come to my attention there is recording equipment hidden in the aquarium. And we can't take the chance of anyone listening in on us. Let me know after you found them and disabled them. The aquarium will be closing soon. Please make your way to the nearest exit. It's done. We're clear. Good. Meet me on the ground floor by the whale tank. 
Ping? Is that you? Tell me, Commander Bond, how much do you know about whales? Not much. Enough to know they shouldn't be kept in aquariums. Apart from that, I wouldn't like to end up in one. Then maybe you can understand what it's like to live inside the world's biggest country. There are 1.3 billion people living in China today, Mr. Bond. 1.3 billion Chinese who need to be fed and housed and clothed every day, every week, year in, year out. I am aware of the numbers. But perhaps not the implications. Go on. It's not that we're not as smart or as technologically savvy as the West. We invented gunpowder and currency while you were still living in caves. But in every society, there are those who would cheat, those who would steal to gain any advantage. The researcher, industrial espionage. Someone in China was behind this. One of your people kidnapped and killed him. No, something worse, an economic mercenary. Someone who would steal the most dangerous technological secrets and sell them to the highest bidder. Not out of ideology or politics, but for money and power to turn us against each other. But who? Where? How do we find him and stop him? My team was in Geneva, following up on a link to this man. Do you recognize him? No. His name is Rak. He was born in northern Mongolia on the contested border between Russia and China and has no love for either. He keeps his money and his mistress in Switzerland. But he operates out of Bangkok. If it's illegal, he's got a piece of it. At first, we thought he was a middleman in all this, but... Take one more step and you're dead. Throw down the gun. No, just by talking to you, Rock is going to kill both of us.
Get that body to the morgue and find me the other driver. Bond. Good to see you're alive, 007. We tracked your cell phone to Bangkok, but the GPS coordinates haven't moved in six hours. I may be closing in on the people behind the researchers' kidnapping. I need to have Q Branch run a data check on a man named Rack. Banking, business associates. Have them contact me with names and addresses. Will do. But I should warn you. We've been following news reports that the Thai police are looking for an Englishman who destroyed half of Bangkok last night in a car chase. And what makes you think it was me? Do you really want me to answer that question? Can I call you back? There's still no sign of the second driver. Go check the buildings along the riverbank and see if anybody saw anything. Bond, we've located a potential lead to Rack from an old friend of yours called Silk. He owns a club not far from you. I'm marking the location on your smartphone now. Good evening, sir. Can I show you to a table? No. But you can show me to the boss. He's behind there. My good man. Is there some way I can be of service? I'm looking for a man. What kind of man? Your kind of man. Someone who preys on the helpless, sees the world as corrupt and wants a piece of it. <laughs> You know me too well, James. How on earth did you find me? Well, if you turn over enough rocks in enough cities, you're bound to be under one of them. You know they ran me out of Saigon. Was that after or before they ran you out of Athens? Or was it Ibiza? I lost track after Johannesburg. Can I interest you in a girl? I'll settle for some information. Same old James. But what makes you think I'm gonna give up Rack without some kind of compensation? Because I know you, Silky. And I know that you don't care whether Rack lives or dies, but you wouldn't mind having the 20% back that he probably skims from this place every week. Rack has a secret boathouse on the Chow Pryor River. But I'll bet you won't make it there alive. I'll take the bet. Add it to what you owe me from last time. And good day to you too, sir. There's an Englishman on his way to see Rack. My money says he won't make it. And you know how much I hate to lose my money. Don't let me down. Rack's got the police out looking for the British agent, but we've been told he'll be heading this way. Stay on your guard and be ready to fire. Rack doesn't care. <laughs> Fools! You're all worthless! It's over, Rack. You're finished. I know about the kidnappings, the bioweapons, the missing researchers. I'll give you one last chance, Rack! You should have quit while you had the chance! Welcome to your final destination, Mr. Bond. You're in Burma. Your last stop. The end of the line. The place where your sad story comes to an ugly end. So how does it work, Rack? What do you do? 
Why you kidnap victims here and torture them until they give up their corporate secrets? Take a very good look at this knife, Mr. Bond. It's platinum, encrusted with precious stones and diamonds, designed to elicit the most exquisite pain when I use it to eviscerate a man and skin him alive. You talk, Mr. Bond. You give up your secrets. Sooner or later, they all do. You could kill me, Rank. But MI6 will send somebody else. Either way, you're as good as dead right now. Wait. I'll be there as soon as I can. Get my helicopter ready. We're going to Bangkok. When I return, Mr. Bourne, we're going to string you up in the yard and bring all the prisoners around to watch. After they see me cut your tongue out, it may help loosen theirs. My way!
like Berlin, like Palma, like all the other unfortunate victims, the collateral damage of your antiquated sense of ethnicity. Still think you're doing the right thing, Mr. Bond? What about Tedworth and the Ping? Did you succeed with them? Did you save them? Do you know how easy it has been to track you, Mr. Bond? The death and destruction you leave in your wake, you led us all around the world. Mr. Bond, I have 200 men in this dam. The longer it takes for them to capture you, the slower I will make your agonizing death. What do you mean to do if you reach me? I read mean, you once before, Mr. Bob. I'll happily do it again.
Bond, help me. You had your chance, Rack. Please, save me. I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you who I'm working with. Too late. I already know. The company had sales of 8.4 million euros last year. The owner, a British industrialist named Simon Porter, has developed a proprietary solar panel technology using a new kind of monocrystalline silicon wafer enhanced with copper indium diselenide to bring the cost of electricity down to less than one euro per kilowatt hour. Hmm. Interesting. Have we inquired whether there's a market for this technology? Our contacts in North Korea have already said they'd pay handsomely for it. And Mr. Porter? He lives in London. Yes, but you should be aware that the Ministry of Defense has expressed interest in the company, which could bring MI6 into it, if we go ahead with Porter as our next target. I appreciate your concern, but I don't think MI6 is going to be a problem anymore. Yes? This just came for you. Thank you. So then, we are all agreed that he's our next target. What is it? Is something wrong? No. Nothing. I have to leave. The meeting is adjourned. Nicole, stop. Don't move. Hello, James. Fancy meeting like this? Drop the gun. Move away from the railing. Nicole, drop the gun! Or what? You'll shoot me? I'd prefer to bring you back alive, but it makes no difference to me. When did you figure it out? That's not important. I want to know why. Why did you do it? There was a man. A rich and powerful man. I would have done anything for him. He asked me to help him. At first, it was innocent. And then? I thought I could prove myself by destroying Pomerov's operation. You did it for love? <sighs> no. You of all people should know. I didn't want to grow old, alone, and poor. Who? Who is it? It won't make a difference. I want a name. You don't understand. He's everywhere. He's bigger than you. Bigger than MI6, bigger than everything. And he's watching us, right now. There is no escape. Nicole, down, get down! Bond? Are you there? Come in, 007. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. We've been concerned about you, 007. What happened? I'm fine, Em. But I think you're gonna need a new contact in Monaco. If you need me, you know how to reach me. Bond out.